welcome to the Game Week 7 team review. West Brom made a good start against Watford, but eventually gave up a 2-0 lead to allow Marco Silva's side to take a point. Watford scored twice from only three shots on target, so just a one-point return for Ben Foster. Kyle Norton came into the team this week with a free transfer and came close to a big score away to West Ham. The right back was on for maximum bonus points before the Hammers found a 90th minute winner to wipe the Swansea clean sheet. Southampton were beaten 2-1 by Stoke in an unusually poor defensive performance from them. So just the one point from Cedric Suarez. Saints allowed six shots on target from Stoke and conceded three big chances. Only Newcastle and Crystal Palace conceded more big chances in game week seven. Elsewhere in defence, Phil Jones made a surprise return for Man United as they kept their sixth clean sheet of the season against Crystal Palace, while Ben Mee helped to keep out a poor Everton side in a 1-0 away win for Burnley. Despite Manchester United securing a 4-0 win over Crystal Palace, Henrik Mkhitaryan failed to make much of an impression. He's produced an average of just two attempted assists per game over the last four game weeks, which is less than half the amount he managed in the first three game weeks. He's also moved from first down to third for attempted assists overall this season, behind David Silva and Kevin De Bruyne. There was also frustration for Christian Eriksen, who was unable to return points in a 4-0 win over Huddersfield. The Spurs midfielder failed to register a single attempted assist during the game. Finally, Mohamed Salah also drew a blank in midfield, as Liverpool continued to struggle in converting their chances. They hit the target with just two of their 17 goal attempts, and Salah's only effort was hit over the crossbar, with an empty goal in front of him. Romelu Lukaku made it 7-7, seven seven, with a late goal against Crystal Palace that left those who captained the Man United forward very nervous. Before scoring the goal, Lukaku had a good chance to get on the score sheet, but dragged the shot wide. He hit the target just once from his four goal attempts. Harry Kane found the back of the net for the sixth time this season, his third brace away from home in the Premier League, and it was a big missed opportunity to give the armband to Lukaku ahead of the Spurs forward. No player managed more than his three shots on target in game week seven. And finally, Roberto Firmino moved to the bench for Liverpool's trip to Newcastle, with Daniel Sturridge coming in to replace him. With the Brazilian looking a little tired recently, it's likely that this was just a one-off rest, but there are question marks over his form generally. The Liverpool forward failed to register a single penalty area action during his 16-minute cameo. A score of 51 is bang on the average this week and sees a big red arrow down to 857k. The average amongst the top 1,000 teams was only 52 points, however, so despite the drop in rank, not a lot of ground has been lost in the long run. 